hey what's up everybody how's everybody doing so today we have a 2005 okay volkswagen golf so we're gonna go ahead and clone the chip we're gonna decor the blade cut out the blade install the blade okay program the remote okay we should be good so the first thing that we actually want to do is go ahead and read that transponder okay so we're gonna read the transponder it should be a mega most 48 you guys okay we're gonna press enter okay you guys so as you guys can see it says id 48 now when you guys are cloning the id 48 you guys um make sure you guys do it online you guys for the mini okay the key to mini you guys you guys can only clone that vehicle once a day okay once a day and if and if you if you want to clone it twice you gotta buy a token for like eight dollars or so okay okay so we're gonna go ahead and decode the key now what i like to do is i like to decode both sides you guys and just compare them make sure that the same cuts okay on both sides and then i go ahead and i cut it okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to vehicle we're gonna go down to volkswagen you guys okay we're gonna go to golf and like I said, if you guys don't see the key in the Golf, you guys can go to a different model. Okay, and choose a different model and just make sure that you guys have the HU66. should tell you the key on there. So that's that's our key blade, HU66, 1999 through 2006. Okay, our vehicle is a 2005. So we're going to go ahead and put the key in there. Now you guys place it in the bottom, okay, not the top. Okay, we're going to place it in the bottom. And I'll get back with you guys, okay? Show you guys both. So as you can see, we placed our key in the bottom. Okay, bottoms are high security. The top clamp, the top on top, it's for a double-sided key, excuse me. So we're gonna put this. Sometimes you have to lift the controller because it won't. Or you can just leave it up. You can decode it with the with the with the door up, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and decode. Okay. As you guys can see, our machine is telling us to place the key how it is. Okay, so that's that's where we that's where our line is at okay that's where we're supposed to align it on the key okay those little edges let's go ahead and decode it's telling us to clean up the little piece of metal okay and now we're gonna go ahead and decode our key So if you place it incorrect, you guys, it's gonna give you an incorrect cut. Okay, so always make sure you align it from the back on those two hinges, okay? This is where it's telling you to line it up. Okay, watch, let me give, let me zoom in, okay? Bear with me, you guys. So as you guys can see those little edges, you guys, right there, those corners, that's where you have to line it from, right there. This and that, you have to line it with this little space right here. So it has to be behind, okay? It has to be behind this piece right here, okay? You guys don't know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it has to be aligned like this. Like that, go down here, okay? So these are these are our first cuts okay for our first decoding three four three four four two three three okay now we're gonna go ahead and flip the key and read the back of it okay okay you guys we flipped our key now we're decoding the back of it of our blade So as you guys can see, we got the same cuts in the back of the blade. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our our, our flippy blade key, okay? So like I said, aligning you guys on this line right here, okay? It should tell you on the machine, you guys. These are our lining points, okay? These little ears right here, or shoulders or whatever you wanna call it. 
these little edges that's that's our lining point okay so we're gonna press cut so when we cut we don't do pass one or first cut or second cut we do cut cut okay so right here the last button make sure our key is aligned like it's supposed to okay and now it's gonna cut our bridge don't open the door you guys because it's gonna stop the machine from cutting so if you open this door it's gonna stop the whole process you guys So we're done. We're gonna go ahead and flip our key and then cut the back of it, okay? Go ahead and read that. And we're gonna press down to clone. So it's reading again. So as you guys can see, you cannot do it offline, you guys. So we're gonna do it online, okay? We're gonna press cancel. Okay, so we don't want to do it offline, you guys, because it's going to ruin the key. So let's do it online. All right, you guys, so as you're collecting information, as you're putting the key in here, this is how you got to do it, you guys. Make sure that the, that the antenna is near the ignition lock cylinder, okay, with one hand, okay? And you're, you're sticking the key in, turning it on. Taking the key out, taking the key in, turning it on. Okay, so you got to do this eight times, okay? And it's gonna tell you, you collected a, another set of data, okay? So you remember to take the key out, put it back in. That's one key set of data. Second key set of data. Third set of data, all the way till you get to eight. Okay, then the machine will tell you to put the original key in the coil. So we're gonna put the original key in the coil and then it's gonna read it, okay? It's gonna read it and it's gonna tell you to take the key out. It's gonna calculate everything for a minute. Do not cancel anything, okay? So you're gonna take the key out after it tells you to take the key out okay and then you're gonna put the super chip in here okay this is our super chip and it's in a and it's in, and we're gonna press continue to clone it okay and we're gonna write it all right as soon as it says clone success we can go ahead and try out our clone all right you guys so if you guys haven't downloaded your x horse app make sure you go to your app store okay and make sure you download it you guys for your machine before we get started, make sure that you turn on the Bluetooth on your BBDI key tool, and we're gonna connect it to the X Horse app, okay? So go to your go to your settings, turn on your Bluetooth on your mini key tool or whatever tool you have, and then we're gonna go to this app right here, okay? And we're gonna go to the main menu on the app. We're gonna go to the main menu on the app and then select our machine. Make sure that we connect it, you guys. So on the top left, is it's a little select sign. You can turn on the automatic connect, you guys. Next time you guys are just using it really fast, so you guys can just, you know, get just automatically connect. You don't have to do all this. So as soon as you connected your your Bluetooth on your VBDI Kito to your to your smartphone, we're gonna go to transponder clone and we're gonna select ID forty eight online calculation okay you guys please put sniff coil close to ignition switch then use working key turn on off ignition switch so basically what we're gonna do you guys we're gonna get the your your key tool antenna and we're gonna put in your ignition okay you guys and we're gonna collect a set, we're gonna collect eight sets of data so that means that we're gonna stick the key in the ignition like i mentioned earlier in the ignition switch open the switch turn the switch off take the key out Put the key in, open it, and so and so, okay, you guys? Until you reach to the to eight, okay? So as you guys can see right there, I already did it twice, okay? It says one time data acquisition, two times data acquisition, three times data acquisition, okay? So right there, I've done it three times already, okay, you guys? So make sure that you, that you keep doing that until the machine tells you tells you that you're done, okay? If the machine didn't tell you that it's not done, 
then keep collecting data, okay, you guys? The machine's in a, when the machine says data collecting, that means that it's collecting data, you guys, and it's not done yet. You guys are not done, um, you know, putting the key in the ignition and, and, tur and turning the switch on, okay? So just keep doing that, you guys, until it tells you that you're done, okay? Please put original key. Now it's asking me to put the original key in the coil, okay? So this is what you guys are going to see next. Okay, so we're going to put the original key in the coil. And now this is going to pop up. It's going to say data uploaded successfully. Please wait. Okay. So we still have the key inside the coil, you guys. We haven't took the key out, okay? So do not take the key out of the coil yet, you guys. Leave it in the coil, okay? If you guys take the key out of the coil, the query calculation result, it's not going to finish. It's, gonna, it's just going to keep saying that. So do not remove the key out of the coil, okay? Just leave it inside the coil. It'll be done in a minute, you guys. Please take out the original car key and better put in VVDI super chip press continue button to write. Okay, you guys, calculation is done. We can take the original key out of the coil, get our super chip, and put it in the coil. As soon as your super chip is in the coil, press continue, okay? Now, as you guys can see, it says writing, ID 48, copy success. Okay, so we're already done. As soon as it says ID 48, success, we're done already, and we can press stop clone so that we can go back to the main menu, okay? All right, guys, so we have our clone key right here. This is the new one, and this is the old one. Okay, we're just going to make sure the new one works, and then we successfully cloned our key. Perfect, you guys. We successfully cloned our key. So as you guys can see, our new key works. Okay. Our old key is still programmed. We didn't ruin it. Okay. Perfect. So this is just something that you guys gotta be really careful with, you guys, when cloning this key. Do not do it offline, okay? Sometimes my machine lets me do it offline, but sometimes it warns me. When it warns me, that's when I start doing everything online, okay, you guys? I never do it, nothing offline, if it doesn't tell me to do it, okay? All right, you guys, so we opened our flip key. Okay, we took this out. These, the new flip keys have this designer here, so you can put the super chip in there now, because it's kind of tough just on the other ones, throwing it in there. So we have our super chip right here that we cloned earlier. And we're going to put it on here, okay? As you guys can see. Okay, you guys, so we're going to prepare our remote so that we can go program it to our vehicle. We're not programming right now. We're just preparing it, okay, so that we can go program it. So the first thing that we got to do from the main menu, go to remote slash smart program. We're going to go to regular remotes, not smart keys, okay? Remote, regular remotes. We're going to go to Europe. Okay, there's a Golf. So we're going to go to Volkswagen. Okay, VW. Then we're going to go down to Golf. Regular Golf. Okay, and the one we're looking for is this one. HLO1. Okay, as you guys can see, 0205. That's our key that we're looking for. We have it connected, no battery. Okay. With the information cable, make sure the battery is out or this will not work. Generating, we're writing. And now we're, we're, we can put it back in there and we're able to go do it either on board if there's a way or our auto pro pad, okay? So let's go do that now. All right, guys, we're gonna try to program our remote on board. So we have the old one and the new one. You need two keys for this to work. So we're gonna put the new one inside the ignition, you guys. Okay, make sure you put this side facing up this way. Then we're gonna go outside. We're gonna close our door. We're gonna put the old key in. Then we're gonna lock it and unlock it and leave it in there, okay? Open the door. And then we're gonna hold the button on the new one. Car should beep. So as you guys see, the car beeped. That means that the key was able to program. So now we're gonna go ahead and come back out here. We're gonna take the old key out and try the new key. Awesome, you guys. So you guys can see that we successfully 
we're able to do the onboard programming of the new key. I will put the instructions on in the description below, okay, you guys? All right, guys, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys like, like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. Any questions, you can always email me, you guys. Okay. Until next time, you guys, take care. See you guys. Bye-bye. you guys huge shout out to Grey Goose Motors in South Dakota Pierre okay 28889 Clover Road so you guys need some motor work hit up Matt okay thank you Matt I got your prep post you got the screen protector the key heads and your gift cards man thank you so much man thank you so much appreciate it Matt